Saka Fence YouTube. Today I'm showing you how to make some Chinese style fried chicken with a secret glaze. kilo of chicken thigh portions and I'm just gonna season it up put a little drop of olive oil first then we have some salt about a teaspoon of salt some black pepper and over here I have my Chinese five spice I'm putting two teaspoons just in case you're wondering, this is the brand that I'm using. The brand is the Lotus brand, and I got it from my Afro-Caribbean shop. Mix it up, okay? So there you have it, nicely done. Just putting some clear up on there because I'm gonna be popping this into my fridge for a few hours just to rest for a bit. So into my fridge for about two hours to marinate nicely. So my chicken is nicely marinated and it's been in the fridge for the past five hours because I seasoned this from morning, as you can see here. And what I wanna do is to just transfer it onto these paper towels here because I actually need to dry out any excess moisture from that chicken, okay? And it smells amazing with that five spice seasoning. It smells absolutely wonderful. See all that moisture? We wanna get rid of that. So I'm just going with a paper towel and just drying up any moisture from the chicken. And because it's nicely marinated, you find that the seasonings are not gonna come off when you do this, okay? So just dry out any moisture. See, you just pat it dry. Make sure to pat it nice. So now that my chicken is nice and patted dry, it's time to fry it up. Just going in, skin down, and just adding it to the oil like so. So I've got eight pieces, so I'm frying two at once, and then the next four when these four are done. You just want to be flipping the chicken after every two three minutes that way you can cook evenly on both sides so guys my chicken has been going for the past six seven minutes on a low to medium heat okay and i have been flipping it occasionally but it's all done now okay so we have a beautiful crispy skin going on and it's now time to be removed from the oil, okay? See this? all done looking amazing already and then i'm just gonna go ahead and put the other four pieces in
So guys, my chicken is nicely done. And what I did, I actually just went back in with all of the pieces that I fried earlier and I just popped them into my pot just so that they could get an extra little bit of color and they remain nice and hot. But yes, they're nicely cooked. The skin is nice and crispy as well. Oh my goodness, absolutely gorgeous. Now if you have an air fryer, you can actually do this in the air fryer, but I don't own one, so this is why I'm using my oil. So now it's time to remove those gorgeous pieces of chicken. glaze to go on this yes so for my glaze to go on my chicken I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of garlic infused olive oil just a little bit of oil in there about a tablespoon of oil you don't really need too much oil in there okay then I'm just gonna go in with some of my dark soy sauce the reason why I didn't add any soy sauce to my chicken is because I know I would be putting some in here in my glaze I'm also going in with some ketchup, about two tablespoons of ketchup. Okay, that will do nicely. Let's mix that up. I also have some oyster sauce that I'm putting in here. Adding just a little drop of water in there, nothing too much. Just mix that up. You're also going to need just a little sugar, nothing too much. Mix that up and then you just want to let that simmer for about two minutes and that glaze will be ready. Okay, so just allow it to simmer. So guys, this is my glaze all done. And also I must mention, if you're making a really big pot of this glaze because you're making a bit more of the chicken than I showed, you can always just use a thickening agent like cornstarch just to thicken it up a bit more. But I love this consistency, so I won't be adding any cornstarch to thicken it up, okay? Time to set it to one side because now we need to brush it onto our chicken. So guys, I've gone ahead and chopped my chicken as you can see because I use chicken thigh portions, this is the best I could have chopped it.
um, then just garnish with a little bit of parsley. So this is it, my darlings, all done. Look at how gorgeous this looks. So, so beautiful, so delicious. Oh my goodness. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's a pleasure having you here always, and I'll see you again in my next one. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.